Hey, what's up, Rebel? Welcome back to the Health Rebels podcast, hosted by me, Steve Hicks. And I gotta let you know right off before we get started, if my voice sounds a little scratchy, I got a little excited playing with the dog on a walk. It was snowing in Spokane where we live, and she loves the snow. And we went out to a field, and I threw snowballs, and I uh, my my. My voice is a little scratchy, so if that comes through, I apologize, but we're going to power through today. And today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've been getting this a lot recently. People were telling me that they're really excited about the way I approach health, the way I approach fitness, but they're not quite sure what it is I actually do as a health coach. So today we're going to break down what health coaching really looks like, and we're going to tease out some of those elements that you can use in your own fitness and health journeys, right? So we're going to talk about really the evolution of my coaching program, reason why we do certain things, and the benefits it's going to give you, whether or not you do coaching with me at any time, right? So first off, let's go ahead and kind of talk about the process. The process is going to really start with that initial call. And if you check out the Google reviews or No, I think it's more on the Facebook reviews. If you check out Health Rebels, the Facebook page, there's a review from Amanda Goodwin, right? And she'll talk about that initial coaching call, which gave her a lot of excitement, gave her a lot of perspective, a lot of clarity, and a lot of understanding what the health journey looked like for her. During this initial call, there's two big things that I'm looking to do with a client. The first thing is I'm trying to determine if it's the right fit. On the podcast, you've heard it's not a traditional approach to health and wellness, right? There's a lot of things that I that I fight back against. I don't believe in counting calories. I'm not really focused on weight loss. I don't want you to crush yourself with workouts, right? There's a lot of things that I'm gonna do differently, and we want to see if that's actually the right fit. So we're gonna have an in-depth discussion to figure out fit. You should do this. Whether you work with me or any other fitness professional, you should find out if they're the right personality type for you, right? There's, if you work with the wrong individual, it doesn't matter if they're smart or if they're incredibly gifted or even if they're the worst. If there's a mismatch in personalities, it's just going to lack that excitement. And obviously, you know, episode eight of the Health Rebels podcast talks about excitement being the number one variable, the number one factor that's going to get you success. So we want to figure out if it's the right fit, right? And historically, historically, fit didn't matter, right? Historically, with personal training, you would go to the closest gym to your home or maybe the closest gym to your work, and you would get whatever trainer they assigned to you or whatever trainer was available, and it didn't matter on fit. Now, with the advent of of online businesses like my own online health coaching, you can find the right person for you regardless of where they're geographically located, right? I have clients that are in Baltimore, Maryland, in Portland, Oregon, in Seattle, in obviously my backyard, in Spokane. I had clients in Oregon. Like there's just, it, it doesn't matter anymore. We get to choose not based on geography, but based on personality fit. And you should absolutely find someone that fits for you. The second big thing that we're always looking for on this initial call as well is, like I mentioned with Amanda's review on Facebook, we want to explore what you gain from this process. Really, what do you gain? What are you getting out of it? Why does this matter? Right? This is something that a lot of people will often kind of gloss over. And you might have been guilty on this yourself, right? A lot of times when people are going for weight loss especially, they'll say, I want to lose 10 pounds. Why the hell do you want to lose 10 pounds? Other than the fact that that's what you've been told from every tabloid magazine and every grocery store you've ever been to. What is it? What is it about the 10 pounds that you want to lose? What do you get when you lose 10 pounds? Do you get more energy to play with your kids? Do you feel more confident when you go out with your friends on the weekend? Do you feel more attractive when you go out into the dating pool, 
right? These are all answers I've gotten in the past from clients when, when we got to dig and explore a little bit more. We want to figure out what this really means. The reason why we want to go in depth, the reason why we want to go deeper and find out what you really gain from this is because that's what the source of motivation is going to be. When it's truly relevant to you, that becomes motivating. How often have we seen people try to lose 10 pounds and then just kind of fall off? The reality is losing 10 pounds is an insignificant goal. It's not motivating. It's not exciting. Nobody cares about 10 pounds. Like, what does that even mean when you lose 10 pounds? Like, it's just, it's a number on the scale. But other than that, what is it? Right? But... When you think about exercise as giving yourself more energy to play with your kids, when you think about your body composition as being able to put your best foot forward in your social life and having more fun and adventures with your friends and being able to go on hikes and keep up with your, with your significant others, right? When we can put these in terms that mean something to us, then it makes the process more exciting, more enjoyable, and more endurable which is incredibly important because we see how often people fall off with New Year's resolutions and stuff like that. We want to get clarity about your true inspiration, your true motivation. And that's the first step. We get a 60-minute initial call where we find out if it's the right fit, if I'm the right person for you or not, and we get to figure out really what is, what is the purpose. And I encourage you to figure out with your fitness goals, with your health journey, why? Why does it matter to you? And if you need some help digging deep on that, I'd love to do an initial call with you and, and figure that out. My calls are typically complimentary um, and there's no, no obligation. It's not a sales pitch. You can find some of the reviews on Google, especially Levon's. Levon's review on Google will tell you that it's not a sales pitch. It's a genuine coaching session where I'm trying to figure out what the right path is for you. And if you're interested in that, you can head over to healthrebels.us and sign up for a coaching call. It's super easy. But then if we do work together, right? If, we, if it is the right fit, if there is a goal that I can help you accomplish, health coaching has three components, right? There is that custom-built fitness plan. I believe that Mary Mother of Three and Johnny Squats a Lot are dynamically different people. They shouldn't be doing the same workout program. If you Google a workout program, you're going to find something made for high school athletes and college athletes and, and people that want to be bodybuilders. You're not going to find a program meant for you. It's going to be incredibly hard to find that. So we create that for every client because let's be honest, everyone's got differences. You know my background. I've got a steel rod in my left knee. If I did a program that had heavy barbell squats, my knee would be shattered again. I just can't do it. I have to do an exercise selection that's more knee friendly. And I have clients where we have to consider their knees. Maybe you have a shoulder hiccup. My old client, Bradley, we used to, we used to structure our program so that we could reduce his back pain. And then we had to choose certain exercises. Some exercises didn't work back, didn't work with his back. So we had to choose other exercises, right? And then goals. Goals are different. If your goal is to be a bodybuilder, you're going to do different things than if your goal is to play with your children and have energy, right? Those bodybuilding programs are going to create a lot of muscle soreness. It's going to keep you on the couch. But our programs, if they're designed for your goal, they're going to give you more capability to be able to get off the couch and play with your kids, right? We want to custom build it for you. And of course, when you're doing your exercise plans, you want to make sure that it is actually relevant for you. Is it matching your goal? Is it matching your personal preferences? Is it taking care and respecting your injury history? Is it addressing any specific needs that you might have, right? Just because you found it online does not mean that exercise program is going to be the right fit for you, right? So we want to do that custom built fitness plan. In our coaching, in Health Rebels coaching, that plan gets delivered through a custom built app that I had created for my clients. That app does a couple different things. It's going to track all of the data, right? Your weights, your sets, 
your 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 repetitions it's going to track that kind of data as well there is a portion in there where you can leave a comment like this was hard i can increase this next week ooh i bit off more than i can chew there's there's room for those comments as well right but so it's going to track that and then what i love there's a little there's a dirty trick i built into this app what the app does is it automatically auto populates your previous workout with that with that exercise so it shows you what you did previously so that it encourages you to see how you can expand your capabilities this week if you were doing goblet squats with a 50 pound dumbbell and you did three sets of 10 it will pop that up and it'll show you set by set what weight and how many repetitions you did this week if you're looking for a challenge you can see hey i did a 50 pound dumbbell last week i'm going to do 50 pounds this week i did three sets i'm going to do three sets again last week i did 10 reps this week i'm going to try to do 12 reps right it encourages you to do progressive overload when you create your custom fitness plan when you have your own workout plan that you're following make sure that there's little reminders of what you've done in the past and encouragement to do a little bit more to stretch your ability to force that progressive overload right so there's that custom built fitness plan and it's nice it communicates back and forth so that i can see what my clients are doing i can make comments and i can quickly adapt there's video demonstrations of every exercise in the app so that you're never confused on what you're doing it's a great app and it does allow me to create that personalized custom fitness plan for my clients. But the second component of the health coaching is there is a 12 week rebel way program. Obviously, you know, with the health rebels, we're focused on the holistic wheel, the six components of health and wellness. And we take some time to redefine what that looks like and how to adapt that into your, into your lifestyle, right? How to create, a routine a healthy routine that sustains for a lifetime there's things in there where we talk about the mindset we talk about the elephant writer we talk about true goals and destinations we talk about reframing we just we, we really give the tools for you to have a healthy lifestyle in your health journey obviously you have the health rebels podcast this will help you redefine healthy living the program that I put people through is a little bit more systematic. It's a little bit more step by step. The podcast is a great resource and I want you to continue using this. But it is it is a little bit more random here at the podcast. There's tidbits, there's there's lessons. There's not a really structured flow that's systematized in step by step. Within the coaching there are going to be step by step progressive ways to consider healthy living and then we'll help you adjust those and define those for you as an individual so that you can get those healthy habits in your lifestyle what you can do whether or not you do coaching is continue to follow the health rebels podcast we give a lot of great information here and then consider when i listen to this podcast how can i apply that lesson in my own journey right continue to find those individual applications with these great ideas and that's what we do with the course right with the 12 week program we show you the the we show you the best healthy habits and work with you on how to make them relevant for you as an individual in your day-to-day -day life right and how to make adjustments and then finally i just hinted at it but the third component that we have is the supportive accountability I pride myself on my accountability and my coaching that it is judgment free. It's empathetic and it's supportive. A lot of times life will throw you a curveball. And when you're working with a traditional personal trainer, it feels like you failed, right? Holidays are coming up. Maybe you eat too much. Maybe you go off your meal plan. Maybe you miss some workouts. Right? When you're working with a coach and a trainer, these can feel like shortcomings. These can feel like failures. And then we get embarrassed. We hide away from that. I am very deliberate to never let people know that they messed up. I'm never upset about what someone did. We're always focused on 
hey, this is where we are right now, and this is how we get 1% better next week. And if we can continually get 1% better every week, we get to be somewhere really incredible in a year. But that only happens if I create a space for people to bring their challenges to me. So we focus on supportive accountability. Now, whether or not you do coaching, you should have someone in your corner that cares about you, that cares about your goal, that's interested in what you're doing with your life, right? You should have someone in your corner that will help you, that you can lean on when you start to struggle a little bit. And hopefully that person that you lean on won't make you feel bad about your mistakes, but will encourage you to take where you are and get better to where you can be, right? Focus on where you can be and focus on the solutions and the strategies to connect the dots. Don't worry about the past. Don't get an accountability partner that's focused on performance in the past. Focus on realizing where you are right now and where we can be next week. That's what I try to do with my coaching. I try to create that space where you can come to me with those challenges. One of my favorite stories, and I've probably shared this a half dozen times on the podcast, but my old client, Veronica, right, was using that custom fitness plan. And I noticed her workouts weren't getting logged, right? She was in the app and not doing workouts. So I was curious and I, I sent out a message and we found out that she was now responsible for babysitting her stepson at the time. And she couldn't get away. She couldn't go to the gym. She couldn't do the workouts that she had planned. And so we saw that. We didn't say that she was messing up by not doing the workouts. We were figuring out why the workouts weren't occurring. We created some home workouts that she could do without taking her eyes off her stepson so that she could get going again. 10, 15 minute home workouts, not necessarily blaming her for what she didn't do, but focusing on where she was, what her situation needed, and how do we get a little bit better next week, right? That's what I love to do as a coach. And I think that's what we should be doing as coaches. If you're stuck with a coach that's always telling you the ways that you've messed up and that you need to be better, but not teaching you the steps on how to actually get better, they're not a coach. They're a drill sergeant. And some could say they're probably an asshole too. I won't say that, um, but I totally just said it. I'll say it, man. It, a lot of coaches are just assholes and trying to serve their own ego. We have to be able to let go of that if we're going to actually support other people. So that that is, oh, one other thing that we do. I mean, there's a lot of other elements in the program. We're a little bit further than I want to be in a podcast episode anyway as it is. So I'm going to try to wrap this up. But one of the really unique things that I do as a coach that I think more people should adopt is I don't do weight check-ins. I don't do measurements with clients. What we do is a monthly reflection. We do a monthly reflection to kind of review what we did, where our weak link is, and from that we can discover what focus will get us the best results next month. But I also focus on each month we want to do a monthly check-in based on a goal that's individually relevant, right? When we did that initial call and we figured out what you're really hoping to go, gain from the, from the health journey, we want to measure that each month. We don't want to look at some arbitrary measurement, some waste measurement that means nothing. We don't want to look at some arbitrary weighing that also means nothing. We want to look at how are, what kind of progress are we making to your actual individually relevant goal. And there's a wide variety of ways that this has happened in the past. Some clients have a pair of jeans, their favorite jeans that they haven't worn in five years because they don't fit anymore. And so once a month, we just put them on and we rate how it feels, how it fits, right? As that fit and those pants improve, we can see that we're making progress and accomplishing our goal. One of my clients wanted to play more with their kids right? Wanted to have more park time. So once a month, we would go out to the park and measure how long it took her to get tired, right? That was an individually relevant measure. For some people, there, I mean, there's, I mean, I've seen everything. I've seen everything. Some people, it's been completely random. It's been maybe pull-ups each month that they want to do. Maybe it's been that endurance. I've had one client initially, it was just seeing how far they could walk. 
um, without any discomforts in their back, right? So it, instead of forcing everyone into what can be a really toxic measurement contest each month, we want to we want to measure our progress based on something that's individually and meaningful to a person, right? So I think that's something that's really unique. I think that's something that should be really adopted more often. And if you're trying to measure your progress, measure it based on something that's meaningful to you, not arbitrarily or externally forced upon you. And especially if you have problems with weight, if you have problems with circumference measurements, don't beat yourself up for it. You don't have to measure that way. You can measure based on something that's actually relevant and personally interesting to you. So, I mean, that was a lot of talk. That was a lot of breakdown. I hope that makes sense. The health coaching really starts with that initial call to figure out the fit and the true purpose between a healthy, behind healthy habits. That initial call sets us up for what we're trying to accomplish and if I'm the right person to help you accomplish that. And then during the program, we have three components, a custom built fitness plan, delivered through the app with video demonstrations so that you never have any confusion about what you're doing. The app also encourages you to progress workout by workout, week after week, month after month. It encourages that progress. We update the workouts every month so that you can get some variety and some new excitement, but it encourages progress. We have that 12-week course that helps you redefine what healthy living looks like in your individual situations. And then we provide the supportive accountability so that we know how to move you forward and to, to how to pull that right lever to get you to make the best progress. That's, that's what I do in my coaching. Those are some tidbits that you should have in your health journey. And look, if you're at this point, 22 minutes into this podcast and you're, you're interested and you think maybe this health coaching is for me, you can get more information by visiting healthrebels.us. I've got a special offer right now. I'm doing that initial coaching call, that initial call. I'm also giving people a high protein recipe pack and a starting workout guide all for a dollar, all for $1. If you're interested in that, just head on over to healthrebels.us and there's more information on that website to get you set up and get you signed up. And we can get you that call plus the free gifts for just a dollar. I think it's a great deal. If you're interested, you should absolutely take advantage of that. I'll put the links down in the show notes so that you can find them easily. But until I see you again for another episode of the Health Rebels podcast, hopefully a little bit shorter. This one ran a little long, but you know what to do. Keep the oath.